r slash sink pissers is a subreddit for people that urinate in a sink rather than a toilet. It's a simple subreddit really, of like-minded people discussing how they became a sink pisser as well as actively promoting sink pissing across a broader platform. I forgot how I discovered this subreddit but when I did, I became a sink pisser myself. Now when I go to other people's houses or public areas or gas stations, I piss in the sink because it's much more convenient. I'm 6 foot tall, so the distance between me and the toilet seat is significant, which makes the potential of me missing much higher than if it was a sink. However, my journey of peeing in uncanny locations started way before I was in this community. When I was 6 years old, I visited my grandfather's house in a third world country. Even though I've lived in very affluent first world countries my whole life because of the miracle of working immigration, my roots are still from the poorest of poor. Some areas in this country doesn't even have running water or electricity, and it's still common even in the most developed cities to bathe with nothing but a bucket and a watering can. On the first day that I arrived at my grandfather's house, I met with my in-laws, but I remember needing to piss really badly, and somehow eventually I ended up on the balcony with my grandfather who started praying right in front of me, and I decided to urinate out of the balcony onto the coming street as the man prayed to God. Right about when I was done and I thought I had gotten away with it, this homeless guy yelled from the street below saying that it was raining piss. This guy was yelling at my mom who was on the third floor saying that there was piss coming from the sky and he thought it was originally rain but then he tasted it and was like oh shit. My parents were yelling at me really hard and wondered what prompted me to attempt this. I wasn't a bad kid growing up, maybe I was a little slow but I wasn't getting put on any special ED classes. I grew up in a mountainous area in Heisei era Japan and it was top manners from daycare so why would a kid like me piss out of a balcony onto oncoming traffic in front of a man that was praising God? I wondered for a long time after why I did it but I never had an answer for it until I revisited the country again recently. The last time I visited my home country was when I was 6 and now I'm not a kid anymore so revisiting the same place with a decade of experience to me was mind blowing. I saw people starving, malnourished, you can see the bones under their skins because they'd never eat. If you walk through a market, every few homeless person there is either missing a limb or an eye from working in those slave Nike factories. It's a completely different world from America where I live right now and I'm glad that I saw these things because you will never see anything like this in the west or any developed country. This time I visited with my father, who lived here for the first 30 years of his life until he got lucky enough to immigrate to Japan and then to America right after. Which is already a success story, but he also established himself as a successful university professor as well while well, his son is making videos about pissing in a sink. One day he took me to his old university. It was around noon and all the students were gathering around campus and were having picnics around the garden areas with their friends. He told me as he looked at these students having a picnic and eating their lunch, when I look at these students, I see a burning passion in their eyes, like they have something to accomplish. When I see you, he was talking to me, I don't see that passion in your eyes. What he said made me mad, not at him for making the observation, but at myself, because it was the first time that somebody actually told me that I was a disappointment, that I was a failure. It also made me think while looking at these students in these universities, maybe they deserve the opportunity of going to America over me. Why was I chosen to be one of the few dark-skinned kids that get a chance? Most of my cousins still live in this country and bathe with a bucket. I have hot showers on the daily. Whoa, whoa. What I realized that day was that a lot of the kids that were starving in this country to get food or water, I could have easily been one of them. I could have easily been one of them. We share the same blood, the same ethnicity, the same race. But while they're busy starving, I'm binging Squirt Game on Netflix and trying to understand why my videos don't pull the views that they used to. While I was there, I saw these little kids pissing in the streets and selling cotton candy and flowers for a few cents just for some guy to spit on their face. These kids will never have the opportunity that I have. Maybe a handful will get lucky, but most of them will stay poor in an already poor country. But then I went back to America and went to my friend's house to play video games and judged him because he didn't have two plot toilet paper. Not too long after this trip, I started pissing in the sink and I also found the answer to why I pissed in the balcony in front of my praying grandfather. The people at the sink pisser subreddit seem to argue that pissing in the sink saves gallons of water compared to when you flush a toilet, but I have a different reason why. Many people in this country don't have running toilets and are forced to excrete their waste in literally anywhere that's moderately private. Whether it's in the grass or behind a bush or a river, a lot of people in this country cannot afford toilets to excrete their waste. Like a dog, like a literal dog. Even the most genius and artistically creative people, because of the fact that they can't afford a toilet, are forced to do this humiliating act. People that are 
are deserving of opportunities more than me. So every time I piss in the sink, whether it's in a five-star hotel or a gas station, I show solidarity to the bride and the brave that will never get the opportunity to showcase their talents because they're pissing in rivers. During the same trip that I pissed in the balcony, I went to a rundown art class outside of an elementary school that was in a garden. I was a pretty good artist as a kid and flexed on the other kids that were learning art with the bare utensils that were available. But then I went outside and saw this guy, no older than 20, drawing a picture. I sat beside him and looked to see what he was doing. He was drawing a picture with a pencil the size of his thumb of the view of the garden that we were in. And to this day, it's one of the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen in my life. The talent that was sitting right beside me was so overwhelming. And that picture, even though I remember it clearly in my head, however long I practiced drawing it, it will never be as good as his. And that artist, his name was Chance the Rapper. Hot damn hot water, hot shower. Whoa, whoa. Hot lemon smoking green. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Tangerine. 